Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can easily save uh, form responses into a list in SharePoint. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So um, look, up until recently, uh, if uh, let's say we had a list uh, of uh, information, you know, this is just a regular Microsoft list or SharePoint list uh, with rows and columns. And if I wanted to allow uh, the users to fill in uh, some of this information, but not all, that was not easily uh, achievable. Um, you know, if I click, for example, uh, add a new item to this list, as you can see, uh, I see all the fields that are part of this list. Now, this happens to be an IT uh, help desk, uh, you know, tickets uh, list. Uh, where maybe IT tracks uh, different, um, you, you know, income and uh, tickets uh, for their help desk. Uh, but um, I don't want, obviously, my, uh, you know, employees to, um, you know, alter anything on this list. I don't want maybe even to, you know, for them to see this list. I just want them to be able to submit uh, some information, you know, maybe the issue they have and, um, and then take it from the end. Then essentially the information would be populated in the list and uh, IT would then, you know, sort it and assign it and uh, resolve it uh, accordingly. Now, up until recently, uh, this was um, not that easy to implement. So you had to obviously first create the list. Uh, but then you also had uh, to create uh, a Microsoft form, essentially an intake, you know, form and uh, design a form with all the different, uh, you know, entries and fields. And then you also had to uh, connect the two through Power Automate. There was really no easy way uh, to connect the two. You had to rely on Power Automate and uh, build a custom workflow. So the responses from the form would be saved to that list uh, automatically. Well, guess what? Uh, recently, uh, Microsoft implemented a, a really cool change and which allows us now to essentially connect the two applications seamlessly without the need of um, you know, building a custom uh, workflow. Let me show you how. So um, what I have here is a list. And by the way, um, this just happens to be um, uh, a help desk uh, ticket and list, but you can create any list you want. All right. Uh, issues log, uh, contact list, or uh, I don't know, suggestion, you know, uh, list, uh, whatever you want it to be. Um, I'm not going to carry you through the exercise of creating a list. I already have it. Uh, here it is. So this happens to be, uh, um, you know, IT help desk uh, ticket list. Uh, and as you can see, there are all these different fields, you know, issue, issue description, priority, status, who it's assigned to, etc. Now, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I want only a few fields to be submitted by the user. I want them to tell me what kind of issue they have, maybe provide a description, but everything else here, right? The priority, who it's assigned to, this is a task for IT. So this is not something we want the users to, um, you know, uh, to be able to tweak or even see. So um, how do we make it happen? So first, you know, you create your list with all the fields. Uh, once again, um, we already have it. Then here's what you need to do. You don't even need to navigate to Microsoft Forms anymore. Uh, from that list, um, over here in the header, click Forms. And you can create a new form. And what actually happens, it automatically uh, picks uh, up on um, you know, all the fields that are part of the list. But we can also select which fields we want to be part of the form. So we want our users to only submit issue and issue description. We don't want any of this other fields because um, uh, these are the fields uh, that will be um, uh, managed by the IT department, all right? So uh, that's that. And uh, we can uh, give it a, a, you know, a name, uh, help, uh, help desk um, tickets or something, all right? And I'll submit your ticket, submit your issue. Uh, and as you can see, it's just two uh, fields over here from our list, all right? That's all, this is all the information that the user needs to submit. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, this is a relatively new functionality. We can now add a, a logo in here. 
um, which is just a, an image file. Uh, let me show you a few other settings in here. So first of all, you can change kind of the, the theme, um, uh, you know, the background, I guess, uh, of your form. Uh, but the one I want to show you is this, uh, notify me. This is great because as part of IT, for example, I want to get an email every time somebody submits a form, submits an entry to my list. Uh, right, so that's a good uh, functionality, you know, so make sure to toggle this option. But other than that, essentially, we are done. We are done building the form. This is your intake form. And in order to, so what you need to do now is uh, grab the URL of this form. Uh, and you do so by clicking send form. And you can generate a link, copy link. So this copies the uh, link to the um, uh, to that particular form. Now, if we want to get fancy, we can uh, maybe uh, go to our home, you know, page, and um, let's actually use this quick link and uh, let's change it such that when you click on this quick link, um, uh, this uh, button, uh, the users will be prompted to submit uh, uh, that uh, ticket. So let's do that. I'm going to edit this page. Uh, I'm going to grab this um, quick link and yeah, let's make sure that we paste that URL uh, just like that. This is this URL we just copied for the form, just like that. And uh, we can change the icons and you know all that stuff. Let's not worry about it. I'm going to republish. So now let's see uh, this in action. So uh, your users will navigate to a site and they are ready to submit the new ticket. So they click uh, on the button. And here is the form. Here is the form. And uh, essentially, yeah, you just uh, literally, you know, fill it out. Uh, let's just say, I don't know, uh, Wi-Fi not working, all right? And um, some uh, description here, all right? and of the of the issue and click submit that's it so essentially your recipient never even gets to see the list um, um essentially they just um uh, they just submit the form uh they don't even need to have access to the list uh, now let me navigate back to our site let's see what happened to our uh, uh, list so i'm back on my list and i don't know if you uh, remember but uh, there was just one entry, uh, you know, before I did this. And look at this. Here's the entry submitted uh, through the form now. And uh, obviously, we asked the user only to fill out those two fields. And now, because I am part of IT, I can now uh, go ahead and, um, you know, and uh, essentially... Um, um, you know, essentially track the status and assign it to uh, my colleagues and uh, so on. So you get the idea. So, uh, and uh, one more thing I want to mention about this is that you can have multiple uh, forms. So we just, you know, we just uh, built one, but you can build, uh, you know, different versions of the form. Maybe on some other form you want uh, a little bit, you know, more fields uh, for the for the users to fill out. Uh, you can do that. Uh, so yeah, you're not restricted to just one uh, form, and every form has its own URL uh, that you can uh, publish to your uh, employees. Uh, what I really like about this functionality is that um, it's all out of the box, all right? You don't need to now uh, create a separate form, make sure that the fields match, uh, build Power Automate a workflow to connect the two. Uh, pretty much by building the list, <laughs> it's uh, super easy to build a form of that, and uh, uh, and uh, yeah, you can uh, create multiple forms and allow your users to submit the entries without sharing the uh, overall uh, list with them ever. All right, so that's a pretty cool functionality that I think will um, uh, have lots and lots of uh, interesting uh, use cases, uh, and uh, I will make sure to blog about it and uh, publish additional videos on this topic on my uh, YouTube channel. But for now, thank you very much uh, for watching this video. Hopefully, you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Goodbye.